Hello, good day and welcome to my channel. The question here says, find the value of x in the figure below. Now, let's look at this figure here. If you look at this point here, let me put marks on the point. Look at this point and then look at this point. We have two lines. One line moves from this point to the circumference. Another line moves from this point to the circumference to form angle 30. Now, with the same two points again, I have another line moving from this side to the circumference. And I have another line moving from this side to the circumference. So since the pair of lines, one making angle 30 here and one going to the circumference on this side, since the pair of lines are coming from the same point then you agree with me that these two angles have to be equal and what reason is that that the, the theorem that states that angles in the same segment are equal so this segment and this segment are the same so the angles in this same segment using this point now make one making 30 here then the other one going to this circumference. So the two angles are angles in the same segment. And so they have to be equal. So this is also 30 degrees, just like here. Don't forget, angles in the same segment are equal. They are coming from the same points. Two pairs of lines coming from the same point. So that means they are 30 degrees each. Now the next thing for us to look at is that this line here this line here is a diameter this straight line it is a diameter an angle in semicircle angle in semicircle is right angle that is another theorem in circle geometry that angle in a semicircle is right angle so this line which is diameter makes this part a semicircle so that angle that it makes at the semicircle, which is this angle here, is right angle. That means it is 90 degrees. So that means the whole of this angle here is 90 degrees. Let me just put the 90 out here. So 90 degrees. That is the whole of the angle here. Now, if this is 90, looking at this triangle, you agree with me that since this is 90, then the sum of these two angles have to be 90 as well so that the three angles make up 180. So if you already have one as 90, the other two will also add up to 90. So make it 180. So if this is 40, then this part will also be 90 minus 40. And that will give us 50 degrees. So this is 50 degrees. So 40 plus 50 plus 90 we give us 180 sum of angle in a triangle add up to 180 now looking at this line from the center of a circle to the circumference we will agree that the line is a radius so i can simply write r here so this line here is a radius similarly a line from the center of a circle to the circumference is also a radius so this line is also a radius so this line is a radius this line is also real. That means they are equal lines. So you agree with me that that means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. A triangle that has two sides equal. So this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So if this is 50, then this side will also be 50. And what is the reason? That the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal, 50 degrees. So this is the base angle of this this isosceles triangle. This is the base angle, 50 degree. So this base angle will also be 50 degree. They have to be equal. Base angle of isosceles triangle are equal. So if you look at this triangle now, the whole of this place is 90. We already have here as 30. We have this angle here as 50. And then we are looking for X. But don't forget everything make up everything add up to 90 degree everything is 90 degree there so 30 plus x plus 50 is equal to 
90 degrees. You can see that. Everything here is 90. I've got it before. This is 30. This side is 50. And this remaining part is X. So the three angles here add up to 90 because of the full 90 degree that we have here. So 30 plus X plus 50 is equal to 90 degrees. So X plus 30 plus 50 is 80. And that will be equal to 90. So if I take 80 to the other side, it becomes 90 minus 80. It becomes negative. When it crosses the other side, it becomes negative. So that gives me the final answer as X is equal to 90 minus 80 is 10. So S is equal to 10 degree as the final answer. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I can get more detailed videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.